Uh, the first thing I really enjoyed about it though is it is scary. It hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm gonna talk about The Return by Rachel Harrison. This is the second Rachel Harrison book I've ever read and this one's much different than the first one. The first one was uh, Such Sharp Teeth. Um, but this is the story about a girl that goes missing and two years later she turns up. The main character in the story is a girl named Elise and the girl who goes missing is Julie. And then they have two other friends, May and Molly. So once Julie returns and they're trying to figure out like what happened to her and Julie doesn't remember anything, well, they decide to go on a trip to a secluded hotel just kind of to catch up and, you know, enjoy that their friend's back. But once they all meet up, they realize that something's off about Julie. She's very emaciated. She doesn't look very well. But then oddly enough, one moment she won't look very well, but then the next moment she will look pretty much normal and she'll act completely normal. So they're all trying to figure out like what is going on with Julie and does she really not remember every like anything that happened for two years? Um, I really enjoyed this book. Uh, the first thing I really enjoyed about it though is it is scary. It like I couldn't believe how scary it was. Um, you know, I'm not like I don't easily get scared or anything, and I'm not gonna say like I had nightmares or anything after this. But this, I mean, this is on the higher end of how scary a book can be. It was like ever every bit as scary as like a horror movie. There's not really a ton of gore in it, thankfully. There are some gory parts and there's some like gross up parts, and I usually don't enjoy those in books just because uh, I feel like a lot of it is, isn't really necessary. However, she didn't really go into like too much graphic detail. So that was like perfectly fine with me. I think there was like just the right amount of gore and just the right amount of like needed gore to make the story work. Um, and then overall, the story structure was just really awesome. Um, I didn't really have any complaints about the story structure. It's pretty linear. You're not going to get any too big twists or plot twists or anything like that. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a beginning, middle or end. It's it's not a revolutionary type of story or anything, but it is definitely a great, scary story. Uh, only a couple things I didn't like about it. First one is pretty small. Um, it didn't tie up too many loose ends at the very ending. Um, it left a little bit open. Uh, there could theoretically maybe be a part two to this. I don't think there's going to. I just feel like this is like a, a one-off type story, but there could be a part two. Left some stuff open there, which, like I said, wasn't too big a deal. But there were also some Chekhov's guns that were never resolved. If you're not familiar with a Chekhov's gun, a Chekhov's gun is when something is introduced in a story or hinted at, but it's never resolved. For example, um, Chekhov's gun is named after if somebody ha like, has a gun in a story or hangs up a gun, then in a scene later on during in the story, the gun should have been used or shot or something like that. So there were some parts where I'm like, oh, okay, they're hinting at something and then it never happens. And I guess they're just, I mean, I guess Rachel Harrison's kind of expecting you to, you know, use your imagination on that. And that's, that's pretty, I mean, that's pretty fine. I was fine with that. I could kind of get what was getting at, but if I could completely understand it and the characters in the story couldn't, I was like, uh, this is kind of a little bit, a little bit cheesy or kind of unneeded. I wish it would have been like, oh, the characters don't understand what's going on, but then look what happened after this like little hint was given, but it didn't work out um, that way. But like, those are very, very small issues. Overall, I really enjoyed this book. And like I said, it was scary as hell. Before I get into though, who should read it? I'm, I just want to ask if you're watching the video and you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to see more book reviews and other book content from me, it would, I would really appreciate it. Uh, so who should read this book? It should be pretty obvious, but horror fans should read this. If you like really any type of horror and you're okay with a little bit of gore, um, then definitely pick this up. This book was very, very scary. I think you're going to like it if you like horror at all. Um, it is much different than Such Sharp Teeth, so don't think that just because you read Such Sharp Teeth or another book by Rachel Harrison that you might enjoy this. This is completely different. Uh, I liked both types of stories, so... I mean, I'm not going to say if you like such like Truth, you're not going to like this. You will. Uh, it's just, it's much different. It's not going to be like such sharp teeth at all. This is very, very scary. Such sharp teeth had pretty much no horror in it at all. So yeah, that's uh, really all I have to say about The Return by Rachel Harrison. Um, definitely pick it up if you like horror books. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.